Galtimore is a 917 metre high mountain in the Galti mountain range in the province of Munster in Ireland. It is the highest peak in Ireland's highest inland mountain range and Ireland's sixth highest peak overall. The walk starts off through a forestry with the pleasant sound of a nearby river to keep you company. The route I'll take to get to the summit of Galtimore is to walk as far as Lake Muskree which has a good pathway leading to it. It is managed by Tipperary County Council as a water reservoir pumping 2 million gallons of water per day to households in the surrounding towns and villages. Lake Muskree covers over 20 acres and is the largest of the five Corrie lakes in this mountain range. Looking at the Galtys from this distance, the slopes look almost vertical but I'm sure as I get closer there will be several easy scrambles upwards. At times the path can be steep and you'll also find that you'll be walking downhill several times. I'm now at Lake Muskree, which is at an elevation of 495 metres. It's after taking me a little over one hour to get here and I calculate it'll take me approximately two and a half hours to get from here to the summit of Galtimore. I'm going to take this opportunity to fill up my water bottle here. I actually had my water bottle filled with coke up until this and I ended up drinking it really fast. So I'm, I'm going to be a good boy from here on in and only drink water. This water supplies the local community with fresh drinking water. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. Up until now I had a clear pathway to follow which ended at Lake Muskree. Now all I seem to be doing is following a, a path where a quad bike has gone. It's just a, a dirt track in the hope that this will lead me towards the summit. From there I will follow smaller tracks leading me up very steep slopes and then from there it is a long walk to Galti Moor all along the top of the Galti mountain range. For me Lake Muskree, with these cliffs surrounding it, is one of the best mountain views I've come across in Ireland so far. I estimate it will take me a little more than three hours to reach the summit, the weather conditions being ideal, with no rainfall for the past few days. Standing this close to the steep slopes, I can see a few routes that may not be too difficult. I have no track to follow now, so I'll have to make my own route. I am going to attempt to climb up the gullies. There seems to be plenty of rock to grip to there and almost no water is flowing. I would consider this the most dangerous part of the climb. There is a lot of erosion on the sides of the gully and the grass breaks away in clumps. Once I have reached the top of the gully, I turn to the west and headed in the direction of Galti Moor. From here, Galtimore is not visible, so you may need to use your compass to be sure you're going in the right direction. I was surprised at how wet and boggy the ground was this high up. Several times I had to backtrack as the terrain was unpassable. I was even more surprised to see just how far away Galtimore was. It is the high peak in the distance. At this point I realised it's going to take me a lot longer to reach the summit than I first thought. As I get closer to the summit, the light breeze has turned into a strong gusting wind almost pushing me off my feet at times. The final ascent of Galtimore is very difficult. The slopes of Galtimore are steep but the summit is broad, rounded and rocky. This is due to the constant freeze-thaw action experienced by the summit during the last ice age. Although the summit is marked with this metal cross, the actual highest point of the mountain is marked with this pile of rocks just several metres away from the cross. The summit of Galtimore itself lies on the border of counties Limerick and Tipperary.
the northern face of Galtimore is impressive, with Loch Tehin below 